So in this section, we're going to talk about the type of policy and the insurance company chosen. In addition to the personal factors impacting the cost of long-term care insurance, including, as we've talked about, your age, your health, your gender, and your marital status, the other factors that determine the cost of this type of protection are the type of policy selected, the insurance company chosen, and the amount of coverage that's purchased. Here at Dahlin Associates, we offer a variety of types of insurance options, and we work with most of the leading insurance companies. We do not believe in a one-size-fits-all approach. Everyone's needs are different. There are standalone policies that provide tremendous value when you need care, but otherwise have no cash value. Like your auto insurance and your homeowner's insurance, I often describe these as being pretty much the worst money you ever spent until the day you need it. Then suddenly it becomes the best purchase you ever made. It truly does. There are also many varieties of policies now that link long-term care coverage to life insurance or to annuities. If you do not need the policy to pay for long-term care, the benefits are then paid to your beneficiaries at your death. Often, you can exchange an existing life insurance policy or an existing annuity for one of these policies that now provides benefits for care if needed, but still pays a death benefit if the policy is not used up paying for care. There's even one company that enables you to use the money in your IRA or your 401k to purchase the policy and to avoid taking that tax hit all at one time. These are a great option for some people, but they're not for everyone. You absolutely should not consider putting any money into this type of policy that you may possibly need to pay living expenses in the future. There also are policies out there that are chronic care policies rather than long-term care policies. While they provide some benefits, be aware that these are far more restrictive than a long-term care policy by definition in terms of when they can be used for care. So again, just make sure that you're working with someone that clearly understands the differences. Regardless of whether you opt for a standalone long-term care policy or coverage that is linked to a life insurance policy or an annuity, the amount of coverage that you would have available for care becomes a factor in the cost of that policy along with those personal factors that we've already mentioned. Some insurance professionals only work with standalone type policies or only work with the insurance policies that offer some long-term care benefits or they only represent one insurance company. Others, like myself, are brokers who represent many companies and can work with you to find the one that is most advantageous to you based on the personal factors and the type of policy and the amount of coverage that meets your own personal needs.